Uh, really quickly, what was I going to get to? Oh, this was interesting. So I, how many of y'all used the Telegram app, right? So Telegram is like this, like, um, supposed app that really, that encrypts your conversation with another person. And supposedly because it's a peer to peer type of thing, allegedly, the Telegram server doesn't save messages, switch, you know, people who are doing either crime or, you know, try to buy some illicit type of, you know, you know, substances or, or, or whatever items. That's a more preferable way of communicating because it's allegedly harder for the police to gain a copy of what was being said. Now, as we've seen over time, just like how we've seen with Silk Road, right? The guy who created that, you know, in theory, you know, this whole thing about, you know, being like protecting the people who are using this thing and making it secure and whatever. It sounds good in theory, but then these places become corrupt and basically starts to facilitate full-blown crime organizations, right? Like, you know, there's mad scammers that think that because they're conducting business, via telegram they could never get caught so obviously once an app or once a you know a website becomes the uh, starts to facilitate crime you get the government and many governments that usually say hey check it out your app is like a conduit for crime could you change up what you're doing there that you're not basically helping criminals get away with shit and usually what happens is that company is in a you know, they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Well, the, the reason why your app popped off is because people feel like they're protected. So you can't just announce to them like, oh, starting today, you're not protected anymore, right? So usually what they do is they try to like just go, um, usually put up a fight against the government or try different ways to kind of avoid, you know, what seemed to be the inevitable, which is, you know, the site or the app getting shut down. Anyway, the CEO of uh, Telegram got arrested in France. Apparently, he went to France because he thought he was safe from, you know, arrest or, you know, anyone that doesn't like Telegram, any government fucking with him, except he still got arrested. I'll play a video real quick. It'll kind of explain what the fuck is going on. Telegram CEO arrested. Do y'all use Telegram? I've never really got into it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Is there a, I'm trying to find like a decent video. Follows a warrant that alleged that Telegram's lack of moderation has facilitated illegal activities. The Russian embassy in France has demanded that Durov should be granted consular access and that his rights must be upheld. The embassy has claimed that the authorities in France, however, are refusing to cooperate. Telegram has said that its CEO has nothing to hide. Telegram, which has close to 1 billion users, was created by Durov and his brother in 2013 in Russia. After Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022, Telegram became the main source of unfiltered and sometimes graphic content from both sides in the war. The application is used extensively by Russian and Ukrainian officials, including Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. Several countries in Europe, including France, have raised concerns about the app related to security and data privacy. Well, for more on this, for a discussion on this, we... Right, the Russian right, founder of the Telegram messaging app, Pavel Durov, has been arrested at a French airport. Reports say authorities have been investigating a lack of moderators on the app, which they say allows criminal activity to take place. Our correspondent, Will Vernon, explains what we know about the arrest. Yeah, this is coming from a number of uh, French media who quote sources in French law enforcement who say that Pavel Durov was arrested uh, on Saturday evening last night at an airport near Paris. He'd apparently arrived on his private jet uh, from Azerbaijan and uh, they're saying that he was arrested on the basis of an arrest warrant uh, that was issued in connection with Telegram's failure to moderate illegal content and cooperate with law enforcement over drug trafficking, child sexual content and fraud. This is just coming from French media, we should stress. Of course, Telegram would uh, almost certainly deny all of those allegations. But uh, we'll have to see now 
uh, whether he could appear in court today. French media are saying he could be indicted uh, today. And, of course, uh, what the reaction will be. You mentioned that the Russian foreign ministry... Mm. Digital Services Act, its moderation is within industry standards, illegal. Durov's arrest at a French airport by that nation's cybersecurity and anti-fraud units is an important challenge for free speech globally. Durov was born in Russia and has French citizenship. The Russian embassy in France said in a statement that it asked French authorities for more details on the arrest. Meanwhile, Telegram said in a statement, quote, Telegram abides by EU laws, including the Digital Services Act. Its moderation is within industry standards and constantly improving. Telegram CEO Pavel Durov has nothing to hide, travels frequently in Europe. It is absurd to claim that a platform or its owners are responsible for abuses of that platform. We're awaiting a prompt resolution of this situation. While Durov's lawyer called the charges, quote, absolutely ridiculous. Now, many have reacted to this news. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, honestly, truth be told, it, uh, yeah, like, it's no, uh, I, I'm, I'm with, even though I like Telegram, I understand them shutting that bullshit down. Like, come on, dog. Like, yo, you can't, you can't just have an app where people are just doing all type of wild shit and you're not even making a, making a attempt. And, and it's not for like. Let's not let's, let's not like focus on like niggas who's on there like scamming and shit like that or like selling a little bit of drugs. Like this is where people start doing sex trafficking, child pornography, and start these are the the places that you would have those type of rings. And if you not if if you're not like forget even moderating working with these governments to cat capture these niggas that's doing this shit because you're trying to protect them. Yeah, nigga, they're going to lock you up. You know what I mean? So I think it was only a matter of time. I mean, I think we've seen any time, you know, uh, whether it's a website or an app that doesn't comply with any nation's laws, they're going to come for you eventually. I mean, didn't they ra they raided like a compound like in Australia? They got, me I think the dude was Meg Mega.com. Um, they got him for basically just allowing, he, he had owned the website, I think it was just Mega Upload. And he would just allow people to just pirate videos and pirate, you know, you could just share movies. That's what, I ain't gonna lie. If anybody remember back, like, maybe like six, seven years ago, I don't even know. Was it that? Niggas used to upload whole movies on that shit, right? And they basically just wouldn't respond in a timely manner to, like, the movie industry saying, bro, our new fucking movies uploaded on your website. Like, like we paid a billion dollars for this shit. And eventually, all those turned to complaints, and they fucking arrested the guy. And is is he in jail? I don't even know if he's in jail. Mega dot com. No, it's, no, it's King dot. My bad. Kim Kim. Dot com. Sorry. Did he? Is he still arrested? He's free now, is he? Uh, oh no. Let's Google it. Is Kim dot com free? I don't know if he's free. Is he free, Chad? Oh, and he's facing extradition. Yeah, so I mean, I think that the, I think that Telegram shit is cooked, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you, dog. Bro, like to keep it real. And all of these apps, we only get to enjoy them for a little while, man. Yo, you, you, you don't see that LeBron snitched on Stream East? Got that shit shut down? That nigga LeBron was watching Bronny play in, like, the Summer League, bro. He had a computer in his lap with Stream East, like, logged in. You know what I mean? A nigga was watching some, some bootleg, like, sports game. Like, he was bootlegging another sports game. Nigga, they shut that whole shit down, nigga. I think if you go to Stream East right now, nigga, that shit is out of here. StreamEast.com, right? Isn't that the website? Let me see. I don't know. This shit's still up. Never mind. It was down for a bit. There was a big-ass federal logo on it that said, yo, we seized this site. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. Fed sees... Fed sees stream east. Yeah, there was a whole thing about it. 
yeah, this banner appeared. The domain has been seized. But they made it. It says they made an instant comeback. What? Anyway, shout out to Streamies, though. Uh, I, I, I think that Telegram shit is going to come down crashing. It, it, bro, you just can't have a unregulated uh, app. It reminds me of, um, it just reminds me of Silk Road. Uh, and, you know, apparently this guy, if if you hear about his wealth, like the guy's a pretty modest guy. Like he keeps all of his, he has, he, he's, I think he's worth like 500 million or maybe like maybe a couple billion or whatever. But he keeps all his money in crypto. You know, he doesn't splurge too crazy. However, you know, I, I don't think that, you know, the feds give a fuck about that. And by the way, I, when, I, when I mean feds, I'm not only talking about the U.S. feds. We're talking about federal authorities from any country. Because I think France is the, one, the ones who, um, you know, uh, executed their own warrant. But, you know, usually once they get somebody like him taken in custody, everybody else comes out with their complaints and they're, they're going to be like, yo, extradite him over here when you're done with him. You get what I'm saying? So eventually, I do think that site's gonna come down, and it, I think all they had to do, and maybe I, maybe I don't know too much about the app. All they had to do, is just like yo, the major things, just make sure niggas ain't having no child pornography ring on there. Make sure niggas ain't ain't ordering murders on there. Like, just make sure, like you know, like we get it. People want to have like this these secret conversations, but you you have to make sure they're not doing like the most degenerate shit on there which obviously a government's going to care. You get what I mean? So, it is what it is. It is what it is. But yeah, um, I'm surprised streaming is back up. Back up like it never ended. Uh, listen, did y'all see